Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am up, I was up early, dressed, ready to go. I've done my hair and makeup and I've decided that I'm going to shoot an assumptions video. Kind of random questions will come in. I've already seen one or two strange ones. Basically, I love watching these on other people's channels or even just seeing them like on Instagram and stuff. Um, I know like Molly May has done ones that I think are pretty funny. So um, I thought I would go through some of them. So let's get into it. I'm going to read them off the phone. Okay, so we are diving in. Um, wasn't expecting to get one, some of the ones that I've gotten. And then others, I was like, yeah, I, I know I'll get that. Um, okay, so the first one is you are bisexual. No, I am fully straight. Um, yeah, that's it. You're an extrovert, but you enjoy your own company. I actually don't know like I feel like I feel like I'm probably more of an introvert but I love hanging out with my friend my like close group of friends like if I don't know somebody I'm really really shy and like don't really act myself like I'll be really quiet and it just takes me a long time to kind of maybe like open up and like be 100% myself with someone and until like I know them quite well. Um, like even when I first started out in this industry and like I'd be going to events and stuff and I wouldn't know anybody going to the events, I would sit in my car and have an actual anxiety attack and I'd ring John and I'd be like, I can't go in, I can't go in. And he's just like, just go in. I'm sure there's other people who are there on their own and um, you'll be fine. And I would just be so terrified to walk through the doors on my own. I'd be like, I can't go in, I can't go in, I can't talk to people. Um, so I really struggled, but I feel like I'm getting better. Like I feel like with age, I've gotten a good bit more confident and just kind of more, just kind of know who I am more. And I think that kind of helps you be a bit more extroverted. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm a bit of a, a bit of a mixed bag. Um, when I'm with like my family and my close friends, I'm very extrovert and I'm I'm loud and always joking and messing um but then with people who I don't know as well I'm probably quite introverted so yeah those are this one I don't really actually even like I answering this kind of a question but there's so many so I'm just gonna do it um so like you're extremely healthy and very controlling over your food and exercise you religiously track your macros and calories that kind of thing um I exercise because I love it. it. I have a lot of energy. So like I get that out from exercising in the day. If I didn't, I'd be like a Duracell bunny during the day. Um, so I just love exercising. Um, it's brilliant for my head as well. So like I exercise maybe like four times a week. So that's, that's it. And then I love going on walks every day and yeah it's more just for the enjoyment like I love it and obviously like um getting to be able to work on your body too is great but like I I just really do enjoy it and then when it comes to food like I never talk about food on my social because I think it's a really personal thing and everybody is so different and I know that there's people who would look at somebody and be like okay they eat that so I'm gonna eat that and that's just so wrong um because everybody is so different and for your own health like you need certain things that other people wouldn't need so I don't really like going into that kind of thing but um like I like to eat well I like to eat really healthy balanced meals I really understand that like your body is like your vehicle to get you through this life and you need to fill it with good nutritious food and show it love and care and you'll get the best out of it. So the next one in is from my sister Lottie and a question that she puts in every single time that I put up a questions box, you bleach your asshole. So no, I don't. But the fact that you put this in every single time I put up a questions box, it would lead me to believe that you do. No hate, just saying like, you know, you don't have to push your agenda on me. You have worked really hard on yourself over the last few years. I think that's actually a really nice question. I would say particularly in the last year. So since this time, exactly this time last year was like when I decided 
I wanted to make my head and body the healthiest I've ever been. Um, I think I was in a bit of a slump at the time and I was out of routine, just feeling a bit like bleh. So I made some big changes in my life, detox from things I didn't need in my life anymore. Okay, next. So you wish you didn't leave the music industry. And no, that's not true. I'm really glad I did. Um, not because I didn't love music. I think that's actually like the reason why I did leave was because I love music so much. I love singing. I love writing, recording, performing. Like I really do love it. And the further into like carving out a career in music I got, the deeper in I was, the more I realised how much I didn't like the music business. It's the way that they want you to be a certain way. The more I got into it, the clearer it became that like, I wasn't gonna be able to be 100% authentic myself, be the artist I wanna be, and all the pressure was pretty much on just how I looked. Which is funny because now I work in like a beauty industry and I feel like there was way more pressure on how I looked when I worked in music than when I work in the beauty industry. Um, so yeah. And especially because I was also just so young and impressionable at the time when I was in the music industry. Um, and having like, you know, grown men tell you and that song is so good and we think you're great, but um, we just need you to look like this next time we see you. And I'm like, and they're like, or else like the label won't sign you. And I was like, wow, that's like, oh, that's not the life I want to live. Um, so yeah, no, I am glad that I, that I left it. Um, but I would also say never, I would never say never to having some sort of like music in my life, um, in some shape or form. But at that moment in time, it was definitely the right thing for me to do. I'm a different person now. And I know myself better and I'd definitely be more strong if if things were said to me now. But at that moment in my time, in my life, it was definitely the right thing to do. Um, you want your own makeup brand someday? I think that's obvious. Yes. Uh, you don't re-wear outfits through my feed. You know that that's not true. I am like the queen of re-wearing outfits. I wear the same thing over and over again. Like I'll buy a blazer, like my black blazer, which pops up on my feed all the time. Like pretty much every time I go out for dinner, I wear it. Um, I've had that for like four years. You bought your house alone. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, uh, myself and John bought the house together. What else? You won't change your last name when I get married. Don't know. Uh, I think I'll always be Bonnie Ryan, but... I think I'll always be on your right, There is loads more questions, but I was trying to keep this video like short and snappy and under like five minutes. So I'm going to leave it there and um, maybe I'll do a second assumptions video. And um, if you enjoy this one, uh, comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next on my YouTube. And if you enjoyed this one um, and until next time.